I mentioned this concept a bit earlier, so uh, this shouldn't be very difficult to understand. But when you have structures, you have, or trusses, you have two force members. And it'd be, it may be critical to know when these forces, or when forces are being applied to these trusses, and it's important to know when, when certain members are in tension or are in compression. So uh, the very basic diagram of what tension or compression are, the diagrams, um, we could actually uh, display it like this. So let's say we have two two force members, one in tension and one in compression. So what we could draw is uh, the forces acting upon it. And compression basically means you're squeezing the bar. And what, what that looks like, so you have forces acting in that direction and forces acting in this direction. So this right here would actually be compression. So that's a very simple idea. And then the other is called tension. And tension is basically the complete opposite of what this is. It's basically you're stretching this bar. So you could say that the tension force points in that direction and in that direction. And what you do, you're, you're stretching this two force member. So this will be in tension, this will be in compression. And um, just a heads up, in these di or in the future problems with trusses, um, it doesn't matter how you define these forces. You, you could say that this member is in compression or in tension. As, again, as long as you do the math correctly and consistent with your uh, forces and directions and so forth, you should still get the same answer. You just might get negatives, and that just means you have to flip the direction of your arrows. So um, at the very end, when solving the problem, you can actually figure out whether uh, a bar or a two force member is actually in ten tension or compression based on the sign or uh, the sign of the value that you get when calculating these forces. So that's just a very basic idea of tension and compression. It's basically ten tension is you're stretching the bar, compression is basically you're squeezing the bar. And some examples are going to ask you whether this member is in tension or compression. And that's why I'm bringing up this concept. It, it's pretty straightforward. It's not too difficult to understand. It's a very basic concept.